Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone and have a good day. Today we are going to discuss about the scattering theory. And scattering is a very crucial in the physics life because due to scattering theory we can know the micro physical worlds and due to this experiment we can know how we discover about the nucleus, about the atoms and about the quarks and etc. in the micro physical world. And basically, the experiment is done to where just the incident particle collide with a target particle, and when there, and these collisions occur, and uh, these collisions, the rate of collisions depends on the number of incident particles and the target particles. And after this, and uh, uh, after the collision, there's two things happens. The first, when if the incident particle do not interact with the part target particles the the incident particle will continue its, its motions and the step while if the particle interact interact with the target so there are some deflection some angle occur um, due to these collisions and this is what happened in the scattering experiment and this deflection is uh, the target particle is a solid 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 physical matter right so when the solid angle we can calculate it's like this and the differential cross section has been scattered can be calculated as this where this term have the dimensions of area and the j incident is the number of incident particles per area per time where it's also called as the incident current density okay and now the total cross section says that scattering happens can be complete as this where we integrate the differential cross sections with the solid angle and we can substitute the solid angles into these equations and we when we integrate we can get we get these equations but now the problem is because this experiment was done in a laboratory and we also have the experimental laboratory and we also have the center of mass where is the theoretical so we are going to transform and we are going to relate this and how we are going to relate these two these two teams and basically the total cross sections for both for laboratory and for the center of mass is the same however the differential cross section is different for because of the scattering angle is different it's because it is frame dependent so how we are going to solve this we are going to solve it we can solve by classical or quantum but now we are going to solve by the quantum fields okay this for part one and see you in part two